Hi there, and welcome to the Science of Mental Physics, Eight Key Breaths. My name is Jody Curtis, and I am a reverend of the Science of Mental Physics. I teach a breath class at the Institute of Mental Physics in Joshua Tree, California, and I am making these videos to demonstrate how exactly to do these eight key breaths as taught by Edwin J. Dingle or Ding LeMay himself. So the first of the eight key breaths is called the memory developing breath. Now this is the only breath of the eight key breaths that is done sitting and it is um, the point of, of doing this systematic series of breaths is to build up prana or soul food, soul energy within our cells, within our body. It activates our endocrine system. It, uh, it, it stores up this, this energy in our cells and allows us to access our deepest understanding and wisdom and creative resources. And it'll just have you feeling extraordinary if you practice these on a regular basis. Okay, so the memory developing breath, as I mentioned, is done sitting. There's a few pointers to remember when you're working on, on the breaths and a, a few factors. One is called the secret switch. Now the secret switch is when we place the tongue, the tip of our tongue on the back of our two front teeth, kind of touching the, the, gum, the gums behind our two front teeth and we just place our tongue there as we inhale through the nose. Inhale deeply. All breaths are done uh, with a big deep inhale all the way down in the belly and then into the middle chest and then the upper chest and then a big sniff at the top. So the point is to fill your body as full of air as possible and then either do the movement that I'll show you for each breath or um, just retain that breath with, with a, a particular posture for each of the breaths that I'll demonstrate. Okay, so for the memory developing breath, we wanna pull that secret switch. We wanna make sure that our spine is completely straight and upright. I like to imagine something lifting, pulling my head upright so that my spine is like a lightning rod, strong and straight and the heels are always touching in all of the mental physics breaths. As we practice them, the heels are touching. Um, the palms are facing downward on the knee. You will hear myself or Ding LeMay say, lock it up at some point after the breath, and that just means swallow. After you've actually inhaled the air, exhaled as much as you can possibly exhale, squeezing that old air out, and then relaxing the body completely. So as we work our way through these breaths, uh, the important, there's a few important things to remember, which is, uh, as I just mentioned, as deeply as you will inhale, it's equally as important to exhale all your air out and squeeze that old stale air out of the body and then relax completely so that that breath can circulate through your system and you can uh, be a witness and observer to what that breath is actually doing in your system. Okay, so with all that said, the memory developing breath, palms facing downward on the knee, head and neck are straight, shoulders are back and down. Now this one I always liken to one of those old fashioned water pumps where you're actually pumping the, the pump to get the water to flow. You're pumping and you're pumping and you're pumping and then when you let go, then the water starts to flow. Okay, so that's what we're doing with our bodies in this memory developing breath. This breath which will not only fill yourselves with oxygen and prana, but it will also help you to clear out any old unwanted uh, patterns in your body, allowing for more light and help you to remember why you're here and what your purpose on the planet is. Okay, so as we get ready, palms facing downward, eyes are closed. First the thought, I thank thee Lord for the breath of my life. Now all together we exhale. And now up.
So that's a demonstration of how this breath actually looks. It's done in the three sets of 14 and then a final triumphant seven. This is to ignite the 49 fires in the body, which if you're interested in, I'll post some more information down below. Okay, so let's all do this together. So as we close our eyes and just get centered in our body, the position, shoulders back and down, our head and neck are relaxed and our spine is completely straight. Heels are touching. As we give thanks, we think the thought, I thank thee, Lord, for the breath of my life. Now, all together, we exhale. And now up. One more. And now we relax entirely, just watching, watching inside the body, feeling the science of mental physics is a science of feeling, feeling after the breath. Watching any little lines, feeling, you might feel hot, cold, tingly. Just observe. And now in the spirit, two more sevens. All together we exhale. And now up. One more. We relax. Watching, observing, feeling. And now two more sevens. All together we exhale. And now up. One more. Squeezing all that old air out. And relaxing right down. And now, giving it everything you have, the final triumphant seven. All together we exhale, and up. One more. your eyes closed. We 
listen to the affirmation in the voice of Ding LeMay. And now I imagine that great light at the top of my head. The top of my head is heavy and relaxed. The forehead is heavy. The eyes are relaxed. The muscles of the face are withdrawn. The jaw gently drops. No pressure on the teeth. The arms and the hands are very heavy. But oh, how happy I feel. I feel happy all over particularly in my beautiful face. My face is bathed in smiles. My whole body is bathed in the blushes of my smiles. I feel a gentle pressure from within, outward, and that gentle pressure is taking away all little lines of fear, care, inward disappointment, anything negative. I feel happy all over. Now I bring the light down, the chest is relaxed, the abdomen falls down, and the light comes down, down, down to the tips of my toes. And now I imagine that great light at the back of my neck. I'm looking down over my beautiful spine. It seems that I'm looking at a wonderful waterfall with the sunshine playing on it so that I see a countless number of tiny specks of iridescent light. Light! Light! And I know my whole body to be full of light. If thine eye be single, the single eye, the third eye, the inner eye, the spiritual eye, the creative eye, the eternal eye, if thine eye be single, Thy whole body shall be full of light. And I know that every cell in that countless, countless number of cells in my body is a lamp, a light, a torch, bringing to me the light of the divine wisdom within me. The light being in perfect correspondence with the flame, as the flame is in perfect correspondence with the fire, the fire, the fire that is in the center of centers of centers of centers of my innermost being, the fire of divine love within me, within me. And so, feeling happy upward, giving thanks outward, Slowly, I take a little breath and a long, deep, sweeping, sweeping sigh. Now, I lock it up. I make it my own as I take another little breath and a quick sigh.